Hi, welcome to Informatica's video channel. My name is Saurabh Mishra and in this video we will learn how to add custom columns of a relationship based object in hierarchy manager. Agenda for this video is, we will start with the default view of a record in hierarchy manager. Then I will show you the changes which you need to make to BDD config file to add custom columns. Let's see the demo. I'll log into the ITD application MDM sample. I'll search for the records. I have already made a query, new query. I'll open the query and search for the records. I'll open a random record in hierarchy view. Here is my record. I'll show you relationship record in details. Here you can see by default there are four columns hierarchy, relationship type, rel start date and rel end date. Now I'll show you this relationship base object in hub console. This party group rel is my relationship base object. It contains these five columns. Now I'll show you how can you show party group ID and party ID in hierarchy view. Now, uh, now you need to log in IDD configuration and application. My application is MDM sample. Export the application. Save it to your local machine. Now open the BDD config XML file from the export in an editor. You can see here is my BDD config XML file. You need to edit this file and add the tag HM relationship types. Here is the tag I have copied. You need to add this tag HM relationship UID. It shows the relationship and column name. This column number shows the number of columns which you want to add. You can also find this tag in a knowledge base article which I'll mention in the end of the session. Add this tag before the end of the HM configuration tab. Save the file and import it to the application. Now I'll import the changed BDD config XML file to the MDM sample application. I'll import it and replace the file. I'll bind with the ORS. Save it. It will take some time to save the application. My application is saved and these are the validation results. 
now I'll deploy the application MDM sample application has been deployed. Now I log into the application and show you the record again. I'll search for the records. I'll make a new qu query. and open a random record in hierarchy view I'll again show you relationship record in details. Now you can see here that party ID and party group ID has been added in the layout. Please refer the KBIT 120059 for details and the tag which needs to be added. We would love to hear your feedback. Please log into support videos at informatica.com or at our Twitter, Twitter handle for feedback. Thanks for your time.